Hi there and welcome on in. In this video we're going to be covering running iRacing on triple screens without the use of NVIDIA Surround or AMD iInfinity. We have covered this video on the channel. It was three years ago. Uh, 115,000 plus of you have watched it. Over 1,300 likes and over 300 comments. So the point in this video is to bring the video up to date with the changes iRacing's made. Cover a few things that people had problems with in the past. Um, yeah, just really to make sure everyone gets it nailed. So the first thing we want to do is head over to the uh, documents. iRacing. Back in the day, we used to put everything in the app iRacing. Nowadays, we've been separated out into these two files. So let me explain. The renderer DX11 monitor is the file that will be loaded if you use the iRacing UI system. Here, the renderer DX11, this will be loaded up um, if you use the member area on the web or a VRS test session, etc. etc. So the contents of these files can be the exact same. It's just unfortunately there's two places to configure them. So that's the first turtle people have problems with. So let's edit one of them and then I'll show you how to duplicate the information across. Okay, we open up the renderer DX11 monitor file, scroll all the way to the bottom. We find this display area here. First thing to make sure, make sure border is off, make sure full screen is off, and make sure window maximized is off. With these three settings, once we've got the rest of the uh, details done, you're gonna have the appearance of it running full screen across all of your monitors with no start bar, task bar, anything. So it'll be um, just one continuous clean feed across the screen. Next, we need to set the windowed width. This is quite literally the resolution of one of your monitors times three. So I'm 1920, 19 times 20, 1920 times three is 5760. Um, if you was uh, 4K or 2K, just take the width of your monitor, width of your monitor's resolution times it by three. Obviously your height, just the height of one of your monitors goes here. And the window's X position. Now while you can use this window alignment to help set this, I recommend just setting it to center, which is one. And here just negative the width of one of your monitor's resolution. So in this case, I'm 1920, uh, so negative 1920. If you was, was 2K, just 2560 on the negative there. Again, make sure border is off, full screen is off, and Windows maximized it off. Now, we can just copy this information across to the other file, but remember there is a lot of graphical settings in here. Anything you may have changed in the iRacing settings, um, I'd recommend copying it all. Control A, Control C, open up the other file. As we can see, it's the exact same file. We even have display settings and all your graphic settings. So I do Control A, Control V to paste, and then File, Save. So this means now, no matter if we're loading from the UI on the web, all my graphical settings, my monitor settings will be the exact same. So bear this in mind, if you make any graphical changes using the iRacing and settings page, that um, it will only change depending on how you loaded the sim. So just try and keep these files up to date and then you will never have a mismatch in situation. Okay, next thing to check, as we're not using any sort of um, NVIDIA Surround or AMD Affinity settings, come into the display settings of Windows. We need to make sure these are aligned correctly. Having them just left and right is one thing, but the problem with iRacing in the sense of how we set these up is if they're even so much as one pixel out, we'll see start menus appear, either on the left or the right. So a top tip for you to do is just grab the left monitor. You'll feel it snap over the middle one if you drag it over and then just let go. Drag the right hand one again. Just drag it over. Don't try and be over here. Drag it into it. You'll feel it snap. When it does, just let go. Now I don't have an apply button up here because nothing's changed. But in your case, if it was one pixel out, apply button would appear. Now it can be very minutely out. This is a problem I've helped lots of people with. So make sure you check this it can cause issues. The other thing I see people trip up on is not having this ticked on the correct monitor. So for example, in the uh, settings I've showed, it's the middle monitor that is my make my main display. Hence why we, in the X position, we minus the width of one monitor to bring us to the triples run across all three. If we had this or this um, set as our main, we would have to compensate. So that's just one thing to bear in mind. All right, let's fire up our racing, take a look at our settings. Okay, with iRacing loaded up, I can indeed see that it has loaded correctly across all my screens. If we jump into the car, yep, this is perfect. We have no start bar, the top bar's not there, everything looks perfect. But to make sure everything's running smoothly, we could jump into the options, graphics, and here's where we just confirm the details we put in. So your resolution should be set correctly, i.e. the width of three of your monitors by the height of one of them. Um, full screen is off, border is off, 
alignment is set to center. The next thing just to make sure is your monitors. Make sure this is correct. Again, make sure you update it in both files or just keep them up to date. Uh, so I have I have three flat screens, the width of my monitors, the width of the one of the bezels, uh, render using three projections, SMP is on, the angle of my monitors, viewing distances from eye to screen. Make sure you hit compute. Don't just hit done, hit compute and then hit done. And uh, yeah, that should have you completely set up. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you get all set up. Any questions down in the comments, I'll make sure to reply. And again, I appreciate all the uh, support. If you like this video, hit the like button, sub to see more videos, bell notification to know when the next video drops. And if you want to see me racing, I'm racing five days a week over on Twitch. So again, much love. See you in the next one.